Susan's Left Here is probably one of my favourite Debbie Reynolds films. I absolutely love her. I'm not ashamed to admit that the only reason I watched this film was because she was in it. I'd never heard of Susan Slept Here before. It was actually released in 1954, directed by Frank Tashlin, with a screenplay by Alex Gottlieb, and stars, of course, Debbie Reynolds as Susan, and Dick Powell as Mark. And I will read the description from IMDb because this is spoiler-free. It says... On Christmas Eve, a struggling Hollywood scriptwriter receives a very unexpected present, juvenile delinquent Susan Landis. So, Susan is a bit of a tearaway. I believe she's 17 and she's arrested for hitting somebody over the head with a glass bottle in self-defence. She was getting wound up. And instead of taking her to a juvenile detention centre for Christmas Eve, She's let off the hook slightly and is taken to Mark's house instead because he's actually writing a, a screenplay that involves slightly, as they put it, juvenile delinquent. So Mark agrees to take her in for the night as part of his research and because it's Christmas. But obviously he gets more than he bargained for with Susan. She's a very inquisitive character. She's quite lively, but she's also very easy to get on with. Straight away you can see that she's not rude, she's not aggressive, she's just really curious and inquisitive. Obviously that kind of chafes Mark up the wrong way sometimes, but as the film progresses and Susan spends more time with him, under his care their relationship or friendship I guess begins to grow. It's very much a character driven narrative, not much happens in terms of the plot, Mark does have a girlfriend who is not best pleased about the existence of Susan. But apart from her, there's not really any other substance to this in terms of the narrative. It's all just about watching Susan as a character, watching her develop, finding out about her, and then watching how she interacts with Mark. And more importantly, how he responds as well. I feel like that's just as important. I do think this is an absolutely brilliant film. It's one of Debbie Reynolds' finest performances. I know I'm biased. I love her in everything she does. But I truly thought it was a spectacular film and I have no complaints. The narrative, or what narrative there is, progresses at a really comfortable pace. Reynolds is brilliant. Dick Powell is obviously brilliant. The film was actually nominated for two Oscars. It was nominated for the best sound and the best music. And the soundtrack is pretty good. I have no complaints about Susan's Left Here. If you're a fan of Debbie Reynolds and haven't seen it, I thoroughly recommend you check it out because it's absolutely brilliant. Probably one of my favourite Debbie Reynolds films. It's great fun. Oozes 50s beauty. Absolutely love it. I genuinely don't think I have any complaints about Susan's Left Here.